Porter Square. Change here for the commuter rail. Safety inside the Red Line Tunnel Extension. A report on the Red Line extensions of the Harvard through Airwife Tunnels is now uploaded on YouTube as we speak. Leaks from the tunnel extension is caused by bad contracting during the red line construction in the late 70s into the mid 80s. Next stop, Porter Square. The destination of this train is Ashmont. Square. Change here for the commuter rail. Stop, Harvard Square. The destination of this train is Ashmont. The next time you hop on a train at Porter Square Station, and I have studied the speed limit and the curves inside the tunnels. For instance, take the inbound train from Porter going to Harvard Station. As the train starts to go 40 to 50 miles per hour, the train will start to rock three times as the train rides down a hill inside the tunnel between Porter and the first emergency exit inside the tunnel after passing two X-Pass signs, which happens to be a walkthrough from the inbound side to the outbound side of the tunnel going towards Airwife. The third rock as it's moving going 40 miles per hour really rocks the train when the speed increases to 50 miles per hour. Next stop, Harvard Square. The destination of this train is Ashmont. 
the reason why the train rocks is because the concrete ties connected to the rails is uneven, unleveled, which causes the train to rock, which could possibly cause the train to derail, which is one of the safety concerns on the MBTA inside the Red Line Tunnel Extension from Harvard to Airwife. In 1988, the outbound train from Kendall used to go 50 to 40 miles per hour as it hits the right curve entering Central Square. The train rocked it so hard, the MBTA reduced the speed from 40 to 25 miles per hour as it hits the right curve heading in to Central Station. And those are your safety concerns then and now that's taking place on the MBTA. Last stop. Thank you for riding the T. Don't forget your belongings.